Good morning. I don't know why I do this to myself. Alright. Let's start this. <laughs> It's half past six in the morning and I'm gonna go now with my parents to Peniche, which is a city, is it a city, town, uh, north of Lisbon around uh, a, maybe a bit more than an hour drive, where we will catch a boat to go to these amazing islands called Berlingas. Berlingas. It's a natural reserve. It's practically empty there. It has like a couple of houses, but no one lives there. It's mostly for tourism and it has a little coffee place. I don't know if it's open now or not. But I wanna take you along with me. This is one of the most amazing places in Portugal. I love it. This is where I did my diving course. I hopefully I can go snorkeling there. Hopefully the weather is nice and I don't, the, and the boat doesn't shake too much. Yeah, I'm all super looking forward. I might not look like it, <laughs> but I am. So let's, Get ready and get going and dive right into it. See you there. Now see you. Bye. Oh my god. Okay. just arrived in Peniche and I just got our tickets and I got each of us got this little bracelet. Weather is not ideal so it's very it's a bit windy cold and uh, overcast and apparently in the island is more or less the same as here but well hopefully I still manage to go snorkeling if not the island is still beautiful anyways but we will see once we get there. Now I just have to wait here a bit more so that we afterwards can catch the boat and on our way we go. Let's go. So I'm on the boat. Oh yeah. I found a more cozy with not so many people play so I can talk. Maroon 5 is playing. I hope I'm not copyrighted. Apparently it's not raining at the island so that's better, better than nothing. This is how the weather is looking. Kind of foggy, but this is very exciting. This was the island where I did my diving course. I haven't been there in many, many, many years. It's a beautiful island. It's one of those hidden secrets of Portugal, probably one of the most beautiful places for me in Portugal, One of, for sure one of the best places to dive. Well, let's see if I can show you some of it underwater as well. Not only above water, which I will for sure, but also underwater. Let's go. Berlingas is a small archipelago in the Atlantic Ocean, around 15 kilometers off the coast of Peniche. And after 45 minutes of a rather bumpy ride, we finally reached it. The archipelago is composed by three islets, but we only visited Berlinga Grand, which is the largest of the three. As you approach the island, you really feel the peace that comes with being in an uninhabited, practically wild place like this, even with all the visitors around. But we were also reminded that this place was not always uninhabited. The fort of Saint Jean Baptiste was built in the 16th century, constructed from the remains of a pre existing monastery where monks used to live in austerity through solitude and silence. Eventually, the harsh conditions of isolation and constant attacks led to the abandonment of the monastery, and its material was used to build a fort that we can now see blending into the colors of the island. And that also happened to be the place where I wanted to go snorkeling.
All right, so we have arrived. We just came from down there all up to here. And my parents are an uh, unbelievable and necessary help to carry all my snorkeling stuff and my camera gear and everything. We have to go up a bit more. So let's go until a place where I can maybe snorkel. Let's go. Home to more than 100 species of plants, endemic lizards, and several marine birds, Berlingas was classified as a UNESCO Biosphere Reserve in 2011. Marine stuff-wise, this archipelago is located in an area of relatively high biological productivity, where coastal and oceanic species meet. And I was very excited to meet some of them. That's where I'm gonna try and go snorkeling, right here. Right? Let's go. Looks great, actually. We've arrived at the place where I'm gonna go in. Through there. And then I'm gonna snorkel till there. It's pretty nice. Now let's get dressed. My favorite part. When the stars glow bright, the summer's over. All right, I'm all dressed up and I'm ready to go. Just about down here. <gasps> Excited. Let's go into the water. Let's literally dive right into it. Upwelling in this area brings nutrients from the deep ocean to the surface, fostering a rich ecosystem. This led to Berlingus being classified as a marine reserve, allowing life here to flourish. Life which greeted me the moment I entered the water. It had been a while since I had swum in the middle of so many fish. The rock walls were also a beautiful display of biodiversity. They were covered with several different species of red, brown, and green algae. And amongst them, I spotted many different animals, like sponges, anemones, and small fish like blennies. a long time following sea breams and grey mullets around. They were really unfazed by my presence and seemed much more interested in munching the algae from the rocks than being preoccupied with the lurking human. I was in the water more than one hour and in reality it felt like I was there only for 10 minutes. Time flies every time I'm snorkeling, but at some point it was time to leave. We did have a boat to catch. I had to hurry up getting dressed to catch the boat that would take us back to the main port in time. There, we would take the boat that would take us back to mainland. Our lovely day in Berlingus was close to an end.
I don't have my microphone with me, so I hope hope my the mic on my phone is good enough. So if you hear this, this is only seagulls, but some decades ago, this island was, no, I don't know if dominated, but had a lot of this, the, the moor, I think it's called common moor bird, which looks a little bit like a penguin. And that's actually the symbol of the park is this common moor, but it has disappeared over the years. And for many, many years, not one has been seen on this island. So to that, I would have liked to see some birds looking like penguins over here. Too bad. It is difficult to pinpoint the exact reasons for why the common moor disappeared from Berlingus. Some possibilities are the pressure of increasing number of seagulls due to the expansion of the port of Peniche, gill nets, which are fatal to moors, and increasing climate temperatures. Researchers and conservation organizations are working to preserve the island to prevent this from happening to other bird species nesting in Berlingus, some which are close to disappearing as well. If you are interested, I will leave a link to donate to the Portuguese Society for the Study of Birds down in the description. They did not contact me in any way, but I am very familiar with some of their work and know that they are doing their best to preserve the habitats of birds in Portugal, one of which is the Berlengas Archipelago. <laughs> Hello. You going up to see the island? Now I'm gonna start going back down. I need to eat something too. I haven't eaten for I don't know how many hours, like since breakfast, which was at six hours ago. <laughs> um, anyways, I'm gonna go back down and yeah, hopefully I got some cool footage to show you guys. This has been a lovely day. I'm looking forward to come back to Good English and hopefully I will be greeted by the same beautiful colors and immense life that I saw this day.